So the key points from lecture two have to do with the behavior of fluid, um, specifically turbulent and laminar flows, and how those types of behaviors are distributed within a water flow. And we'll get to how that influences sedimentation and sediment transport um, in the future. So the basic idea is, is we have turbulent flows where the direction of motion of the water is variable within the flow, rep representing that turbulence, and laminar flow where the particles move, uh, the little packets of water move parallel to each other and there's almost no mixing. A good example of a laminar flow is glacial flow, where you can see streaks of rocks within the ice that don't get mixed in versus most water flows, for example, river flows, where um, dye or sediment in the flow gets mixed throughout the flow. So those are described by um, the Rayleigh equation. So the Rayleigh number is Re, and that is a function of the inertial forces over the viscous forces. So we have L, which can be considered the depth of the flow or characteristic of the geometry of the flow times the flow speed, u, times the density of the fluid, or rho. Those are the inertial forces that are divided by the flow viscosity. Within real flows, the flow speed varies with location in the flow. Specifically, at the sediment water interface, friction between the sediment and the flow slows the flow down. So right at the boundary between the sediment and the water interface, the flow speed is actually zero. Then there's an average flow that's defined for the bulk of the water um, within the water column. So when thinking about the level of turbulence or laminar flow, when the flow speed is zero, the Reynolds number is zero, and the flow is laminar, there's some point at which the flow speed is such that the Reynolds number equals 500, which is defined as the boundary between laminar flow and transitional flow. This point and this level in the flow is called the laminar sublayer, um, and sometimes called the viscous sublayer because in this zone right near the, the boundary, the viscous forces dominate over the inertial forces and the flow is laminar. Hello, I'm back in my office and I just finished most of the editing for my second sedimentology podcast. And in doing so, I realized that I said Rayleigh number instead of Reynolds number. The proper term for RE is Reynolds number. Thanks for watching.